The pressure inside the cabin is controlled by two outflow valves, located on the aft pressure bulkhead. These are the primary and secondary outflow valves. These valves control the rate at which environmental air is released from the cabin. Both outflow valves have a diaphragm that is controlled by the pressure delivered to the control chamber. Both valves have a maximum differential pressure relief valve that mechanically limits the cabin pressure differential to approximately 9 psi, in the event of an overpressurization condition. Both valves also have a maximum altitude limit valve, that will restrict the cabin altitude to approximately 13,000 feet, in the event of an under-pressurization condition. The pressure relief valve receives outside pressure information from a static port and compares it to cabin pressure. If the cabin pressure differential approaches 8.9 psi, that differential is adequate to compress a spring in the relief valve. That unseats a valve which opens an orifice in the control chamber, venting control pressure from the diaphragm overboard. As a result, the diaphragm deflates away from the outflow grill, allowing more air to escape, lowering the pressure differential. The maximum cabin altitude limiter contains a sealed bellows which expands as the cabin climbs. Think of this sealed bellows as a bag of potato chips on the seat beside you in the cabin. As the airplane climbs, this bag of potato chips will expand, as the sealed bellows does. At a cabin pressure altitude of about 13,000 feet, the bellows expands adequately to open another orifice, venting cabin pressure into the control chamber. This causes the diaphragm to inflate, closing the outflow passage, preventing the cabin from climbing higher.